Hello, it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine. It is Good Friday as I'm filming this. I watched one of Betsy Doodle's videos, I think it was last week, maybe the week before, and she was showing some ATCs that she'd made and some ATC coins. I think it was primarily coins. And she said that anybody who wanted to swap, drop her a line. So I said, yes, please, I'd like to swap because I haven't done any swaps for a while and I need to get creative. So um, I did receive yesterday what she sent me. I'll show you in a minute, but I thought we'd make something for her together. And I may have one or two ATCs that I can swap. Now, if you know Betsy Doodle, which I'm sure a lot of you do, she loves her painted papers. So I'm gonna have a go, a la Ashley, at doing a bit of painted paper. I have got uh, just three colours of acrylic paint at the moment. These I bought in a Hobbycraft sale. These are well worth getting when they're half price. I think normally, the last time I bought them, these are four pounds a tube, uh, 100 milliliter tube. Um, but quite often, and they might have it as it's a holiday weekend, they do have them half price. And I think for two pounds, they're well worth picking up. So I've got this rich gold, which is one of my favourites. I thought we'd try this blue. Um, I can't see an actual colour on it. It just says turquoise blue. And this is cyan. And um, this is just to create a background. We're going to do a bit of mark making. I might doodle on it. Who knows? Um, you know that I'm a beginner at this. And um, if you want to know how to do this kind of thing, Betsy Doodle is one of the foremost people to watch on YouTube. I I'm gonna do, don't need a lot of paint, so I'm just going to square a little bit out. And a little bit of this. A little bit of this. You see, I haven't even used these. They're in my little paint drawer. There we go. Yes, <laughs> we've got some very dear friends coming for lunch on Sunday. And happy Easter if that is your bag. Oh, gosh, I should have a pinny on. Um, yes, we've got some friends coming for lunch on Sunday. And I've just been up to the butchers to get my lamb. I'm going to do a Persian lamb recipe that I have done before. And I walked up there and I thought I'd get stuff for dinner tonight and I'll get what I can from Aldi that's cheap. I'm just going to brayer this out and just make some marks. Um, and I got caught in the most massive rain shower. And of course, I'd left my phone at home, hadn't I? There we go. I'm just, you see, I'm not very good at this at all. And I've probably, oh, I don't want any more of that, actually. I want a bit more um, of the other colour. Let's just, oh, let's just wipe that off. I want a bit more of this cyan. Yes, I got caught in this massive rainstorm and I'd left my phone at home. And thankfully, I just kind of um, took shelter. Now, I do know that D doesn't like white spaces, but you know that I do. So I am going to leave a little bit of white. And that will do for that. Oh. I'm just going to squeeze. That's why I don't do painted papers. I get very messy. I've got paint over me. Now, you see, I shouldn't waste that, should I? I've got paint all over everywhere. But let's just squeeze a little bit of this out here. And actually, this colour is very, very deep. Very deep. But it is just for a background. Um, I'm going to spray a little bit of water just in case I want some on my thing there and um, could do with another brush actually I haven't got many brushes here on my thing oh dear oh dear let's just use this fan brush just to okay and I've used this before I'm going to just make some marks And I could come in and stencil some things over this. Do another little there. And then I'm going to do the credit card thing. Just run that through. I love the blue and gold. As I say, what we're just doing here is just creating a backdrop 
for making little cross marks. I do look, I absolutely adore gold. Love it, love gold. Scrape up that plastic a bit. Oh dear, I didn't mean to do quite so much of a sploosh, but there, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to wash everything and dry it, so I'll come back to you in a minute. So here I am, this is dry now, and I'm going to just trim it. Um, one thing I did do off camera is I just um, sprayed a little bit of water on the gold acrylic paint and um, did some paint splatters. I don't know whether you can see that. So I'm just going to cut this down now. I like to, when I'm doing my ATCs, I like to cut my bases out of black to uh, two and a half by three and a half. And then I cut this an eighth of an inch smaller. So I'm going to see how many pieces I can get out of this sheet. And I will come back to you and we'll start pithering believe it it's absolutely brilliant blue sky now do you know it's really pretty i'm looking out of my craft room window which is at the front of the house and there's a cherry tree if those of you that have been with me a long time know that i've got a, a tree that i've got a bird feeder on and i'm at war with the squirrels um check out my shorts playlist but it's gorgeous the leaves on the cherry tree are red and it is a beautiful contrast against the blue sky I cannot tell you how different the sky is an hour ago it was black it was raining cats and dogs and in fact I don't think I told you this but my husband had to come and pick me up I'd left my phone at home I was almost home carrying three bags of shopping um I was almost home and he, but I'd left my phone at home yeah anyway I'm wittering I'm driveling anyway out of that it was a slightly shorter than a4 piece of paper this is what I've got left and I shall keep these bits because I'll come in for something. This is rather nice, isn't it? Reminds me of like a paint chip in a paint samples thing, the texture of it. Anyway, I'm going to keep those bits and then I've managed to get, I think it's 12 backgrounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine that was right yes nine not 12 that would be nice wouldn't it anyway um i've got some bits and bobs i'm going to play with i've got some collage paper i've got some collage medium i've got a brush i've also got some little bits of ephemera um tim holt snippets curator ephemera snippets ephemera field notes snippets i've got some botanical layers all sorts of things in here Oh, look, there's a nice bit of background. Um, so I've got that to play with. I've got some mini paper dolls. I've got some collage tiles. So I'm just going to have a little play. And I think the best thing to do, because you don't want to see me playing for hours and hours and hours, I'll put you on fast forward. <laughs>
lovely D. Um, so this is my ATC and she says on the back, uh, it's called Two of Six Scrappy Doings. <laughs> to Ashley, thank you for swapping. I've added a couple of coins, but no need to send any in return. Much love and hugs, D. Betsy Doodle. Look how thick that is. How many layers are there? But we've got a little bit of washi tape. We've got a sentiment, always and forever. And look at all this layering. I don't know whether this is gilding flakes. It could be. A gorgeous little bit of deep pink here. Now, unusually for Dee, there's a little bit of white here. <laughs> she doesn't normally like white. So that's that. And then I've got a couple of ATC coins. I must get a die, the right size, or a punch. Some people have punches, don't they? But they're really difficult to get now, I think in the right size. Now this is lovely. She knows I love birds, or maybe she's forgotten, but I do absolutely love birds. It just says spring fever, couple of little jemmies. I've got loads of these in my stash somewhere. And then it looks like there's like silver speckles around the edge. He didn't speak. He didn't speak. Well, birds can't speak, can they? And then this one, sorry. My husband's just accepting a delivery and the door's open. Um, and this one says explore. It almost looks like a little human figure with a headdress on. And again, pink with some doodling. Very pretty. Gold glitter around the edge. Thank you so much, Dee. I'll, um, I'll pop back on when all my stuff is dry. It's the next morning now. Can you see Blue's tail flicking there? Bless her, she's looking out the window to see sunny birds, but there aren't because all the bird feeders except one are empty. I've got one little bird feeder and I don't know why that the birds don't seem to like it. Anyway, I have nine finished ATCs and I only need one or two. So if you would like to swap with me, leave me a comment on this video and um, um, I will send you one. If I haven't got your address, if you want to email me, I'll leave my email in the description box. But I think most of you that are likely to watch this and want to swap have got my address already. So I'm going to start with the three that I'm not happy with first. I've done a landscape one. So I've used collage paper, as you saw, um, and it hasn't kind of evaporated completely, if that makes sense. Whether it's because I've put it on an acrylic background I don't know. If you know anything about this, maybe you could let me know. Let's get a bit more central, actually, shall we? Try not to squash the cat. She's just jumped off. Um, yeah, so I've just used a little bit of Finnebear glass glitter in black um, just to highlight the rocks on this little scene. Um, far from home. Little house there. Little bit of... Um, Tim Holtz ephemera, which I've cut in half. I find sometimes they're a bit big for what I want. So there's no, you know, no harm in cutting them in half. And again, this was a circular one. I cut it in half and just put it there. Um, yeah, so that's the first one. I don't know which one I'm going to send to Betsy Doodle yet. Ah, lovely D. And then this is the second one. Again, you can see that the collage paper hasn't quite evaporated. I quite like it on this one because it gives a kind of ghostly effect. And again, a little bit of ephemera. Um, and this one says the darkening violet sky. And this one, um, again, the collage paper hasn't completely evaporated. You can see the little bit of stamping there. Lit only by the moon. I chose that because this kind of does look like the moon is lighting up the ferris wheel and there's the other half of that piece of ephemera there can you see i'm all out of kilter i haven't been up long so those those are three i've got to call these things yet and decide which one i'm going to give to betsy doodle and i'm going to send one to mr doodle as well what i do love about this metallic gold acrylic paint from pepio is the amount of mica that's in it to give it its metallic shine is just phenomenal so just a paper doll here a mini paper doll a little bit of a circle cut in half again traveling companion the man little man or boy young boy with his traveling companion and i thought this kind of looked like a little hill in the background another little bit of an ephemera and then this I quite like as well. Cat wants to get out now, obviously. Um, specimen, just two pieces of botanical layers, I think they are. 
you saw that I used my stamp from my collection. This is a really, really useful little crackle stamp. I do like it. Let me just let her out. She'll probably want to come back in in a minute. And then another one with paper dolls. Par Avion. The only chance we had. And I've tried to get them standing on this little line here to ground them. Yes, on these other ones I used. No, it's not on these. It's, it's on these ones. Now, I love these quirky birds. It is from a set by Tracy Evans, who I think has designed for Alan Create. This is her own brand, I think. Uh, Tracy at craft hyphen addicts.co.uk is her email this is tracy evans boutique designs and this one is called quirky birds and i really like it dare to be different take risks imagine fearless and tweet i've used all of the birds one on each one <clears throat> i like this just with a little die cut i found a piece of um alcohol ink work that i'd done and just pop that on there um and again, I just love the little bit of gold and I used the glass glitter to ground it. I wish I'd done this in gold or um, white because um, the text just get lost a little bit on this very dark blue. But you can see I'm a complete beginner with my painted papers. Um, just added some, what they're called, enamel dots on this one, a little bit of the stamping coming through. And again, this bird is, is a bit dark. Maybe I could have done them and heat embossed in white. That might have looked quite nice. Um, but I do like some of the texture that I've got from the brayer, from brayering. Um, uh, and then the last one, a little bit of orange enamel dots on this one. This one says take risks. So I'm going to be sending one to Betsy Doodle, one to Mr Doodle as I'm posting to that address. And I'll have seven left. So I can make more, but if you'd like to swap... Um, leave a comment and then I've just made a little single layer card out of um, a bit of scrap um, <laughs> actually looking at the text if Betsy Doodle does watch this I'm sure she won't but if she does watch this I didn't really read what the text was but it's got stuff about um, waging war he waged war against blah, 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 Sweden yeah so yeah it's a very nice piece of text but just a little collage tile on a little tiny slither of black, one of those scraps from my paper, and again, another die cut heart from alcohol ink, um, edged in blue, I think that was prize ribbon, and then this is just, I mopped up some paper, and I like that, <laughs> so I'm gonna do something with that. Anyway, I have been on long enough. Let me know what you think about my attempt at my painty papers. I need more practice, don't I? I'll be back very soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell to know when I'm next uploading. Take care, everybody. Bye now.